Mercedes are likely no longer involved in the championship fight for the first time since 2014. They are yet to win a race and one of the primary reasons given by them is the bouncing or porpoising of their cars. While speaking to Autosport, Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff has now given the latest updates regarding their progress. I'm your host Dylan Shelley and first up on Formula World, Mercedes claim to have solved porpoising. Wolff started off by revealing how and when they solved porpoising. I think in a way we have dissected what we define as porpoising or bouncing, and it is that the porpoising, which is the aerodynamic movement of the car, I think that solved and we got on top of this around Barcelona. He then suggested that the driver's complaints are being caused by a different issue. It is more that the ride of the cars is really what causes the comments of the drivers. The cars are simply too stiff. The curb ride is bad, the bump ride is bad, and I would say that now, with dissecting this problem, you can tackle it better. What we see in the cars is just the stiffness. You look at some of the slow motions from the two leading cars and the Alpines, you see that they are bouncing off the curb in a very hard way. This is what the drivers actually complained about, the stiffness of the car. He signed off by looking at the possible solutions. This is something we need to look at, how we can reduce the impact. And of course, the smoother the track, the better. The lower the curbs, the less we see this phenomenon. I think we just need to put more load in the car, more downforce, and equally do that with a car that is not as low on the ground as we expected. It's a clear direction. You can see the cars going higher, and this is where we need to find the performance. Fast feed. Red Bull Sergio Perez feels that teammate Max Verstappen is a complete driver. I think he is without doubt one of the best in the history of Formula 1, if not the best. He has things that no other driver in Formula 1 has, the ability to go to the limit from the first practice session until the end. Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton joked that maybe in the second half of the season, George can do the experiments. We're just trying to progress as a team. I think moving forward, I think we'll be a little bit more cautious on doing too many experiments as it really does hinder you through the weekend. Especially if you only have practice 1 and 2 in the dry and don't get an FP3 for example. McLaren CEO Zach Brown thinks that with IndyCar driver Colton Herter, the potential is definitely there. If you look at his results in IndyCar, he's extremely fast. He was Lando's teammate in Europe many years ago, and Lando rates him very highly, so he has an extremely good chance and is very capable of being an F1 driver. I can see him in F1, whether with McLaren or another team. Retired F1 driver turned pundit Martin Brundle is of the opinion that Ferrari's Carlos Sainz is like Lando Norris and George Russell in that he's ready to win Grand Prix but those victories just keep eluding him for varied reasons. I've always been a supporter of Carlos, and sometimes I felt like a lone voice in the paddock, but he's very good, especially during races. For Alfa Romeo's Joe Guan Yu, it's very good to get the frustration out of the way, finally get to the finish line. Obviously never expected to be doing that in Montreal. It's a tough, tough track, but the whole weekend it was very, very good. Will Carlos Sainz win a race soon? Head over to my community page to vote in the poll and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you liked this video, feel free to subscribe and check out my others for all the latest in the world of Formula 1.